depend on it, I depend on it, the whole human species depends on learning and developing tools. Money is what? Money is basically a tool for survival, right? And we realize that two of us, we, two brains are better than one, usually, and uh, humans, uh, we basically need to create ways to trade with each other, to exchange with each other, and we create tools to abet our survival. And we can't do that without learning. The part of humanity that makes us humans is our prefrontal cortex. This is the learning part of the brain, the part that you think and deliberate. If, when you go back and look at brains over the last 200,000 years, skulls, they found that the part of the brain that expanded the most over the two, last 200,000 years was the prefrontal cortex. And they tracked it and said, why did it expand? And they said, hmm, they compared it to weather variations. And they said, when, when the world was experiencing the most weather variations, that's when the brain expanded, because we were struggling to survive. And what happens when we struggle to survive? Our brains got bigger. And so learning is essentially survival. Now I have some bad news, which is in the last 35,000 years, our brains have shrunk by the size of a tennis ball. Um, and the part that really matters, that prefrontal area, and one of the arguments for this is we're not, we're not surviving as much. We, we have, we, when you cook your food, like you didn't catch it yourself. You're not, right. We're not struggling as much. Yeah. So learning is survival, not only helping your own, your own self survive, but helping the human race, the human species survive. Because the, you know, the brain is an organ, you want to constantly keep it in tune. You want to keep on making sure it's quick and it's engaging and solving problems. And you never know where it's going to lead you. That's the brilliant thing about learning. You know, I started this book not knowing, I was just going to write a book on money. I had no idea I would be digging for coins in rural Bangladesh with an archaeologist. But I loved it. It was an incredible journey. And so if you're open, and if you keep, they say minds are best like parachutes, they're best used open, right? And mm -hmm. so if you keep your mind open, um, you'll be amazing with the ideas that can come flooding in. I'm trying to write my first opera libretto. Wow. And so it's a struggle. I just started it, and I'm not, sh I've, I've committed to writing, to writing an opera, but um, it's a, it's a struggle. <laughs> it's more narrative. It's like you're telling, it's like you're writing for the, like a play. And so that is it's a new challenge for me. So I've gone back and reread like Don Giovanni and a lot of the Mozart operas. And um, let's see where it leads. <laughs>